One of the ways devil speaks to man is through people close to you. Now if you remember in the book of Job, when Satan tried to destroy Job, after afflicting him with sicknesses, and he saw that he did not fall into his trap. If you remember vividly, Satan set another trap for Job, and this trap was his wife. Job's wife told him to curse God and die. This shows that Satan can speak to you through the closest person to you. In this case, he spoke through Job's wife. The major reason Satan speaks through men is because he wants to destroy you and I, and he knows that if he comes through your friend, you won't easily catch him. So Satan would give you evil suggestions through your friend. Another example can be found in the book of Matthew 16. Satan had been trying to get Jesus, but all his efforts was futile. So Satan decided to come to get Jesus in a way Jesus won't easily catch him. So he decided to speak through Peter. But immediately he spoke through Peter, Jesus caught him and rebuked him. So this means that Satan can try to speak to us through our close friends. So if you are not discerning, you would fall into his trap. Many times we think if Satan comes to meet us he would appear with horns. But you got that wrong. Satan is a deceiver. He knows if he appears through horns that you would discover him. So Satan would come through your trusted friend or someone close to you. He can even try to speak to you through a man of God or anybody. So you have to be discerning. Many a times the devil speaks to people by putting evil suggestions in their hearts. A typical example from the Bible is Judas Iscariot. In the book of John chapter 13 verse 2, the Bible says Satan put it in the heart of Judas to betray Jesus. Not every thought that comes to your mind is from you. Some thoughts are from the devil. The devil walks about like a roaring lion seeking for whom to destroy. So he would try his best to come to you every day and bring evil suggestions to your heart. Since he doesn't want you to catch him, he sometimes might bring seemingly harmless suggestions. He can tell you to reduce your prayers because you are tired or give you a suggestion that is pleasurable to you. So you have to be discerning, if not you would end up listening to his voice without knowing you did. So in conclusion, the devil wants to destroy you, so he would come in a way you won't easily identify him. This is why you must build yourself in the place of prayer and the word, so that you would be able to detect his wiles. If you have been blessed by this video, kindly subscribe and like the video. Also try sharing it with your friends, so that they can also be blessed by it. Thank you so much.